So we basically developed a brand new engine especially for Far Cry 2. This engine has been two years in the making. It supports DXT9 as well as DX10. And we basically tailor-made it to take full advantage of uh, multi-core CPUs. What this permits us to do, among other things, is to basically have a large, open, 50 square kilometer streaming world instead of the traditional levels of a first-person shooter. This world is obviously totally dynamic, so we can have things like wind affect vegetation in a credible, procedural way. So nothing is faked, everything is dynamic. So we can basically increase the strength of the wind until leaves start breaking off of plants, branches start breaking off, etc. Uh, we can even have dust pick up from the ground and lift up in the air. This is all done, again, procedurally. Uh, everything in the world that should be destructible is destructible. So basically it's affected by the player, by bullets, by explosions, and everything is done through physics. Uh, our cloud system is also totally dynamic and procedural, so you can actually look up and see clouds form dynamically and procedurally, and everything is extremely credible. Uh, we also have a dynamic time of day cycle. Uh, another tool that we developed for the game uh, that we're actually very proud of is a system that we call Realtree. This permits us to create trees as well as plants that are extremely realistic and extremely dynamic. So basically they react to the player, they react to bullets, they react to explosions, they react to fire. And not only do these plants and trees look amazing, but we can literally display thousands of them on screen.